Hi everybody, this is Janice. Her Paper Element. Um, that is my new YouTube name. Um, I was formerly Cricutologist 32820, but I don't really do many Cricut um, videos anymore. I'm not saying I'm not going to use my Cricut. I'm just saying I don't do, um, uh, what do you call it, video tutorials on it because I really don't think I'm at that level I don't even have a maker so <laughs> a Cricut maker but anyway plenty of people out there that make Cricut videos so but I still enjoy the community I really I have the urge to continue making videos only because I love the camaraderie that we share and I've made some really nice friends on YouTube I have to say over the years and so I have found that to be very very um necessary in my life those relationships so um in fact i have to say i went to the expo yesterday here in orlando florida it was the the friday one i no normally don't go on a friday but i did i met up with robin and um uh yvette and dina and another f new ish friend named Susan and we had a blast I also saw people there that you know I I know that I'm acquainted with um I thought I saw my friend Adrian who I am friends with and she's basically a neighbor we need to get together and craft more um I met a new friend her name is Alice and she lives very close um but she was she's also a YouTube um subscriber and watches my videos and has for the over the years and so I got to meet her so Alice it was so awesome to meet you and your friend it was so cool um you really made me smile from deep down in my soul so thank you for that um so let me share what I got at the expo I didn't have a huge budget I wasn't even gonna go honestly um because I knew that I would see so many things that I wanted and you know, self-control is, is hard, and I thought, you know, this will be a good exercise in self-control. I left my credit card in the car, and I only brought the cash that I had to spend and stay within my budget. Um, that is a really good, you know, thing to do in my life. So I did it as an exercise in, and I made it all the way. I did not spend it all. I had one nickel left at the end, just one nickel. And I couldn't figure out how to spend it. So <laughs> um, anyway, okay. So I went to the Stamps of Life and it was so cool to meet Stephanie Bernard and her husband. They're so fun. I love watching her videos. I've watched her videos for years and years and years. Even before she had the company, the Stamps of Life, she used to do videos for another company. I don't remember. She used to wear a black t-shirt, I remember. And I thought, she's the funniest, goofiest girl. Like, she reminds me of me. Um, so I just had an immediate connection with her. So let's talk about that. I found this pineapple theme very appropriate for my life. I love this. I have pineapples growing in the backyard. Um, so I was sold. I was like, yes, I will buy three and get a free paper pad. That's the deal there. So if you're going today, that's what you got, okay? Um, they have different options. There's probably like six different choices in paper pads. Um, so this is the base piece that everything else kind of hinges on. And so I love it because it has a great happy birthday. I love these glasses because it'll immediately make it into a masculine card. I, I will make one for my son because he wears glasses like that. And um, I love this stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. That's one of my favorite sayings. Party like a pineapple, summertime, hello, um, to one fine apple. So you could do happy birthday to one fine apple, um, too cool, um, so yeah. And then this one is the inside, okay? So like you could do a light, solid color, and then do this over it in a darker, like say yellow and orange or something, or yellow and brown, whatever. You could do pink and purple, who cares, right? My preschoolers tell me all the time, Miss Del Rocco, it could be any color you want. You could have a purple cat if you wanted, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. 
<laughs> they're so funny and then this is like if you want it again to be solid that's what I just said and then solid and then all these other patterns so now I have one two three four five patterns there's a teeny tiny pineapple right there and this is just a note so like I could do just a note to one fine apple right miss you party time and then this has all kinds of things that you could use on any kind of card really but it does relate to the pineapple so girls just want to have sun upside down pineapple card that's cute you are cool you are pine be proud of who oh wear your crown be proud of who you are you are sweet you are the pineapple of my eye um, be kind and truthful and life will be fruitful so really quite versatile I think um, and relatable to me they're kind of me kind of so then minding my own business as usual and Robin asked me what is this thing and it's palette for mirror is what it's called okay so what it is is a a rectangle of photopolymer okay so it's a gigantic solid stamp if you've been around this industry for a long time you've seen this in all kinds of ways you've seen it as a rubber red rubber um, over the years I love that it's clear because you can obviously see through it so I was um, saying when I was standing there it was like you know that would probably be the most useful thing that I can buy that I actually need okay because I didn't need anything at that expo to be honest okay I'm talking about need that's not a need place that's a want place you don't go to the expo because you need something right <laughs> But really, we need these things in our lives. What am I saying? Am I losing my mind? So, you it's a big piece of photopolymer, like I said, okay? And it serves to create a mirror image. So, this was the one that I stamped with just a block, okay? And then this one, I used the photopolymer piece, the, the uh, palette for mirror. Um, I didn't even mount it on anything. I just did it right on the carrier sheet that it came in because I came home and I was really tired and I had a lot of things to get done. Busy, busy weekend here um, doing several different things. I had to teach a class last night, two classes to teach for VIP Kid. So I was busy, but I really wanted to play with what I got. Um, I wasn't really happy with how it turned out the first time and then I watched some videos in bed while I was falling asleep and I watched May May who I love very much she's awesome and so what she did with hers was she put her stamp on a piece of this is just acetate right um, you probably have these lying around and what she did was she put the stamp on there first I um, took out the foam inside the stamp positioner. I don't know what the dog is doing over there. He's being a handful this morning. Um, so, okay. So this is how we're going to do this. I feel like I need, I don't know. Again, I'm still new to this, but what she did made complete sense to me so let's just do it i just want to show you this is the intense black from close to my heart it is great because you can use it with copics and you can use it with watercolors so it's kind of my go-to black right now all right and then the key to this is not to smush it when you smush it the lines bleed out or kind of spread out and you don't get a nice fine line you just get like a washed out black and then you have to go over it with like a black permanent marker I wasn't happy with that and I knew it was just user error because this has been around for years okay so see it actually stamped pretty well what do you want Sammy what do you want I don't have anything for you. You have food. I took you out, okay? I'm trying to do this video and then I have to teach a class. 
Okay, so I can't play with you. You want to go get your ball? Where's your ball? Where is it? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. I don't know. He probably just wants to go and walk around the block. Yeah, I can't right now. I'm busy. I wonder if you can hear him. Oh, he's going to lay down next to me. So then I did it again, and I could even do it one more time. What's your favorite um, go-to black ink? I know there's so many options these days. All right, so I got that. Now all I have to do is remove this piece of acetate, and now my stamp is ready to go on my block for my next image, okay? But I am going to stamp this image. I got to replace my foam piece here. I'm going to do it this way. And magnets and just kind of decide where I want it and then I will cut this down okay so now again I'm trying not to press too hard I feel like I put that magnet there in a really bad place and that kind of screwed this whole thing up and so is that one in a bad place it's right on the that was a fail, guys. Because I'm trying to do this before having played with it. Yeah, see now my image is shifted. It shifted. So that's how it turned out. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not to where I want it to be. So then now I can take my other fishy and stamp it there so it looks like they are kissing okay and so not bad okay but it has improvement there, there's still room for improvement but again if there's any areas that are light you can use a some sort of a permanent marker and just you know do that um, and then to clean it what I did like I said, I just sprayed it with my spritz cleaner from close to my heart. I do have a website you can visit if you would like to support me. Okay, and that ding means I got 15 minutes till my next class um, with um, VIP kids, so I gotta wrap this up. I'll show you what else I got real quick. And then I also got two Nouveau drops. I still like these a lot. My friend Dina was saying that she has trouble with them being, not being, what do you call it? That not getting the Hershey kiss. I'm not really sure what else to tell her. I don't really have that problem. I feel like they really do self level like right now it has the Hershey kiss but then it just levels down um I mean in the past we used to kind of flick them in the back you know with other brands but um it does level down as it dries this one is the autumn or yeah autumn red which I didn't have in autumn red so I like that and then I also got red berry and I already have it. So I feel bad because I enabled Robin to get yet another one of these. And I already, we both already had it. So I just really thought I didn't have this one. But I like it because it's like a real true, true red. So yeah, but I'm not sorry I got it because I know I'm going to use them. So that's that. And then I got at close to my heart, believe it or not. This is the one thing I wanted because I rejoined close to my heart, but it was too late to get the $5 um, stamp of the month from, I don't remember, the first, I, I don't remember. It was like earlier that year 
and I think this is a great one because it has all of the sentiments that you could possibly need all in one place so I'll probably just keep this one like right here where I could just grab it real quick if I need especially a sympathy like I have to search high and low for my sympathy stamps I have a few I hate doing sympathy cards I really just need to do a bunch of them and just have them because at the moment who wants to make a sympathy card it's it's just it steals my mojo so um yeah I need to to do that um okay then I got this here it's pretty um stone bling from tall mouse these were $1.50 and that's kind of what I went looking for in terms of bling because I like these because they kind of look like the colors of the pretty pink posh little bling um, and I saw those in one of the booths um they weren't cheap um, I still wanted them, but I restrained. I did. Um, Robin offered for me to use her credit card to get them, but I said, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm not getting anything else. So that was that. And then we, and that's it. Like, that's all I bought. So I did well. I was a good girl. Um, then we made this awesome tag at Art Anthology. I am going to seriously... I love their product. I love this paste that they have that's all different colors. I think it's called like Shine Dimensional Paint or something like that. And then I use their sprays. So, and you know, again, I have a multitude of sprays. They're all right here in front of me. So this is something that I can do with stuff that I already have, you know, like I could make dimensional paint with my gelatos, you know, it's stuff that I have. So it's hard to think with your brain at the expo because you're just thinking with me. I think we all do think with our emotions and we're like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I got to have it. I got to have it in every color. I want this product. I just, you know, but yeah, so I was good, but I love this tag. I'm so in love with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I know I'm not giving it away. I'm going to keep it and do something cute on it. We shall see what I come up with, but all right, that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, have fun. I can't wait to see what you all got at the expo. Um, it was a great one. I had a fantastic job. Um, um, time if it moved to a different venue would I like that um, it depends on where it would move to I live in Orlando it isn't that big of a deal for me to get there but um, yeah I I don't know it'd be cool if it was somewhere more affordable where if I wanted to stay the whole weekend and do like a whole weekend of do it all I, I can't really afford to stay at the Gaylord Palms um, was the parking a big deal? It was different than what we're used to. I'm not going to complain about it. I don't have anything to complain about. I had a great time as usual. It didn't change anything for me. Um, it is very expensive to park there, and that's just a fact. Um, but in Orlando, it's very hard not to have to park and pay somewhere. And because people pay it, it is what it is. You know, so I, I don't know. There may be a more affordable option out there. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain because I don't have a solution. And that's kind of my theory is if you don't have a solution, then, then don't complain about it. Unless you have a solution and a plan and you can present it to someone and say, hey, you know what? This would work. What, if, what about if we did that? Um, instead of just complaining to complain. So there you go. Um, I had a great time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, let's hope I can get some projects done. <laughs> Bye.